Hi, thanks for watching my video. I'm Satoe here. I'm recording video from Hong Kong again. So today I'd like to talk about how to improve your Reiki skills. So if you become Reiki practitioner, if you came to the Truman course and then you have a lot of uh, things to practice with Reiki, yeah, maybe you become more interested in practicing Reiki. But uh, I think this is something that you cannot really miss it when you practice Reiki and how to even uh, improve further Reiki skills. Uh, here is the my idea for you. Uh, I can say that this is even like an ultimate way to improve your Reiki skills. Yeah, so what is this? Every time you practice Reiki, you gain your energy and you are actually helping yourself growing as well. Yeah, so that is the most uh, ultimate part of practicing Reiki. And then, so what does it mean that if your energy flow much better? Because sometimes you somebody say that you have a blockage of energy or maybe you discover yourself that your energy kind of a little bit stagnant, like doesn't flow very well. Have you ever thought about what is this? Actually, the energy stagnant can be from many different uh, facts. Maybe uh, one uh, reason because maybe environmentally stagnant. So maybe uh, where you live, it is not really uh, good for health. Uh, but sometimes we can also consider your emotion can be uh, stuck in your side of your body, uh, many things. I believe that is mostly uh, related to our emotions and if it is most difficult part for the people that how to treat our emotions because uh, we live in every day like being adults. So we are kind of suppressing emotion every day because for example, can you imagine yourself you are so angry talk to somebody else then you know, it is totally distract the harmony of the conversation. So usually we try to suppress our emotions. But I think uh, practicing Reiki, I really discovered that we really it's very important to treat your emotions because if you don't do that, so you become like you are exploding the emotion. So we, we are not like just suppressing all the time, but practicing Reiki is giving me another idea that actually you can cleanse it and then you can balance it. So finally you have more harmony in you. Yeah, so that is the, the benefit of practicing Reiki. But how to make your energy flow better? So like Usui Reiki Level 3, we talk about enlightenment and Satori. So, you know, practicing Reiki, we can also reach to the Satori uh, status. Yeah, uh, sometimes I have seen the students uh, because like me in the past, so I also was curious about what Satori enlightenment and other things like, you know, the spiritual practice and how to enhance our spiritual level. I'm very interested. So I also have read a lot of books and then I'm kind of understood but that's only happened by our logical thinking so I can understand logically that how does it work or maybe I can also imagine that how the people really improve their life quality of life by practicing something maybe not really always Reiki but you know the people can ex experience many things and then yeah some people really went to the enlightenment status but you know, this is my biggest uh, question that how to do it and like how we can really attain the peace of mind and went to the enlightenment status. Uh, for me in the past, it's like it's, it's totally impossible. Maybe my life is not that great, you know, like this kind of idea. But after I start practicing Reiki, actually giving me another idea that Yes, we can practice Reiki and then practicing Reiki is really gaining your sensation and feeling part, which is most important. I believe that is most important for almost everybody in the world because uh, you can understand logically, but if you don't have emotion, so what, what, what do you happen to this? Like you, you say that, yeah, thank you. Yeah, I feel grateful, but actually you don't feel grateful, right? So this is totally um, useless because you try to understand, but actually you are not really understand with your feelings. Means that you are not really doing anything because 
um, so you you know that, right? So you you try to understand, but it doesn't really happen to your heart. Then you are not really satisfied with the the, the condition that you have right now, for example. So in that point, I also feel that it's very important to treat our emotions at all. You know, connect to Reiki energy, right? So becoming the Reiki practitioner, always we practice starting with connect with Reiki energy. So sometimes students also kind of lost in the middle, like I really don't know how to, to sense connect with Reiki energy. But I think it is so simple and actually it is really very natural for us because our body just simply connected to Reiki energy all the time. But I think it's also related to our emotions. So what is your emotion when you connect to Reiki energy? It's like we feel grateful. Yeah. So when you could feel grateful, but this grateful sensation is not because you receive presents or because you happen to be lucky or because you have something special thing happen to you. But the more like you are feeling grateful sensation, like we are all alive, like we are able to survive, like we made to survive, right? Because we have so many things that we can have, for example, I could eat the food today and I can breathe nicely today and I can drink the water today. Like such a simple activity of our daily life, but somehow we could feel grateful again. So, you know, in our lifestyle, actually it's really hard to say that we feel grateful about our simple life because maybe we get used to the speedy life, like, you know, living in Hong Kong. So we have so many stimulus and it seems that everything just happened very quickly. Then I think that I realized that maybe we couldn't feel grateful. We are more greedy and we expect so many things. And then that's happened to be like, you cannot really feel grateful very easily. But you know, if you could feel grateful about what thing happened to you every second. So that's kind of a sensation. I found it. This is like a similar to what, uh, uh, what connect you with Reiki now. So you connect with Reiki. It is the sensation of feeling grateful like this way. So sometimes uh, the student come to me and the student also told me like, yes, I understood like what is Reiki. And so I practice it every day, but I don't really feel the improvement. And then what I can consider about your case is maybe you are doing, but you don't feel grateful. Yeah, so it seems quite similar that everybody just placing the hands and they just touching the body all the time for the self-healing practice. But do you feel grateful? Do you feel grateful about your body is always non-stop in her breathing and breathing all the time and all the activities just happens very smoothly, you know? It is almost miracle, I can say that. But if you couldn't feel grateful about this situation, like this simple, uh, nice work of your body activity, so what does it mean? Maybe you have something that you cannot forgive, for example, or something happened to you badly and you cannot happy, like you cannot be happy, you cannot forgive something that you cannot forget. So these things, of course, that become your stagnant of energy. So I feel the importance about why we practice in Reiki is not just because we are practicing Reiki for healing and for health, but I definitely believe that we practice in Reiki for our life. Yeah, because everybody wants to be happy, everybody wants to be, maybe we can say, more satisfied about what you going on about your life. But if you have something that is become like a, like a lump in your life, so you, you feel the great obstacles, I can say, yes, Reiki definitely helping you. And then if you didn't know yet about how to help, uh, you know, to remove in the obstacle of your life by practicing Reiki, you should come to level three and learn more about this. Yeah. But I believe that everything, the essence of Reiki, it is all in your continuous Reiki. And then sometimes if you stuck something in the throat, then maybe you should find somebody to talk about your problems. Yeah, that's also good because then means that you can call help. Yeah, 
Uh, that's what I experienced in the past. Even I practice in Reiki, feel like I'm not really practicing and I didn't feel the, the benefit of Reiki. I don't feel I'm improving myself. I uh, feel like my life is always pity. It is something wrong with you. Maybe your energy doesn't really go to moves even you practice in Reiki because you are not going to acknowledge by this point. Yeah, so that is it for today. I really want to let you know, like even you receive a two men, you couldn't feel enough Reiki or you connect to Reiki energy but couldn't feel at all. Maybe you have some stagnant in your energy. Your soul want to combine something. And yes, we can experience more things in our life. And then if you can gain nicely, successfully by practicing Reiki, you are changing and evolving more and more. Okay, so I hope you find more interesting things when you're practicing Reiki and you can leave the comments if you have any questions or comments or we are happy to answer your questions. Have a good Reiki day and please don't forget to subscribe our channel because we are uploading many different uh, interesting videos about Reiki. Okay, so thanks for watching and have a good Reiki day. Bye!